Hello, I am Kasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. So today in this video, we'll deploy or we'll host an ASP.NET Core 3.1 Angular application to Azure Storage. So Azure uh, does provide different options to host your application. So one is Azure App Service, uh, but there is one more option when your application is more static or uh, doesn't involve any server side uh, operations so very much related to client side and uh, you can say a static application so you can host such kind of applications to Microsoft Azure storage uh, and uh, within like and with following a uh, very simple steps uh, it it is uh, very secure it has uh, uh, So there are some uh, scenarios or there are some occasions where you need to, you, you do have your uh, uh, a static application, say uh, uh, you have you have some events or you have some conferences uh, to be hosted and you have your own static website for that particular event or uh, the conference and you need to make it public so that uh, the attendees or the users can go through your FAQ sections about section and all those stuffs so at that so at this uh, particular time like uh, uh, for just for hosting it for a couple of days or you can say a week time or three or four days uh, to an app service plan uh, it usually comes up with some you know, uh, costing and the cost is high so in that case what you can do is you can use a cool feature which Microsoft Azure does provides uh, with an with the Microsoft Azure storage to host a bunch of your uh, or to host an application as a static website into your Azure storage and you can make it public or it does provide a public URL and you can access it directly so as a part of prerequisite for this exercise you need to have an Azure valid Azure subscription uh, you can do this even with your free trial account uh, to know more about Azure free trial account just uh, uh, search the same into my YouTube channel uh, I do have a video on that and along with this valid Azure subscription, uh, you must have Azure, uh, sorry, .NET Core 3.1 SDK installed in your machine to create .NET, 3. Uh, .NET Core 3.1 Angular application. And uh, I will be using Visual Studio 2019. That that would be the uh, best thing to, you know, uh, like a best idea for me. And uh, you could also have Azure Storage Explorer. It is not mandatory, it's an optional part, but it is good to have when you work with Microsoft Azure Storage. Uh, you can manage your uh, Azure Storage accounts through this Explorer. Uh, you can get this, uh, it's free. You can download in your machine. Uh, and it's really cool to work with uh, uh, when it comes to working with Azure Storage to work it with uh, Explorer. So right now I'm using this version, one point 11.1 it does have the newer version that is 1.11.2 but that's fine uh, this will work for me uh, so let's uh, I have already installed uh, the machines so let's start so as you can see at the time of recording this video I am using I am using Visual Studio 2019 community edition with version 16.4.2 which is the latest one okay at the time of recording this video so I've already installed the dotnet core 3.1 SDKs so if you click on file new project select ASP.NET core web applications click on next give it a valid name uh, for your project a valid name for your solution click create And here it comes with an option uh, you can see it's giving me uh, in the drop down it's giving me the option for 3.0 and 3.1 just because uh, I have installed the SDKs and I will provide all those links uh, in the description of this video you can see it's dotnet core 3.1.0 uh, 
click on angular and just click on create so for the brevity of this uh, video I've uh, created one solution named core 3.1 to Azure and uh, I've created one uh, project with selecting the angular as I just mentioned the steps uh, with selecting uh, ASP.NET Core Web Applications 3.1 and then Angular. So I will run this. It looked like uh, this. So I've just changed some titles and all. So you can see, uh, welcome to the new single page application. Will be This will get hosted to Azure Storage Static website soon. So these are the stacks ASP.NET Core 3.1 and C Sharp. Uh, with angular you can go to counter you can see it's working it's absolutely fine now uh, to get this deployed just click on just have a right click over here with the project name click on publish select folder as an option You can select the desired for path where you want to get this all published file created and just click on create profile and publish so it will take few seconds and it will deploy all the published file um, at the given path so meantime let's go to our portal because we need to host uh, this particular files or this application uh, using Microsoft Azure storage so let's go to the storage account and create a new storage click on add or you can click here both will work fine the subscription is free trial I'm purposely using this subscription because I want to make you aware that you you can use your free trial account for hosting such applications into your Microsoft Azure storage as a static website I will create I will use uh, my existing resource group that is uh, core 3.1 to Azure you can create new resource group uh, it's all your choice storage account name should be unique again and we'll give it as um, str or let's give it as angular to azure oh fine uh, you can select the location as per your requirement or as I will go with um, North Europe no uh, specific reason as such just I'm um, changing the location that's it you need to make sure the performance as standard and the very important thing is about having this account kind to be as storage v2 general purpose v2 because this account kind has the feature of static website so you make sure when you create a storage account your storage account should be storage v2 general purpose v2 now at the record at the time of recording this video this is the one of the main requirement for getting into static website I don't know what is a feature roadmap but as of now this is for storage v2 general purpose v2 uh, will I will leave it as is and just click on review and it got validated and now it's creating that storage account meantime we can see the visual studio has published the files cool you can go to that folder which was this one and you can see it has published uh, a number of files which is absolutely fine and now let's see whether it has created reading so you can go to source okay so it has now created uh, our storage account okay you can just click on continue you can see there is nothing over here so newly created Azure storage account now just type here 
use this powerful text box of searching the menus or properties from the blade rather than having it searching like this you can do it this anyways but this would be an interesting one or an easiest one or a recommended one so I just um, typing it as static and you can see there is one setting uh, which come across which says uh, static website now as you can see it has already written like uh, enable static websites on the blob service allow you to host static content and web pages may include static content and client set scripts server site scripts is not supported you can click on learn more to know more about this as of now we just need to click on enable and uh, you can see it is giving giving out two options that is index document name this is the here you need to add the page name it should come as default when you hit the url and if uh, you can give an uh, alternative path or uh, for an error document <coughs> as of now uh, before this let's go to the folder where we have the published files so if you see there is a folder named client app and inside it there is a folder dist now these are the files which we need to upload to Azure storage in order to host or this static application so make sure the files you don't have to you know deploy or don't have to copy all the files just go to search for this dist folder and you can see here it's an index.html so you can write it over here directly as index.html and click on save once you click on save you, you may notice it gives you primary endpoint and secondary endpoint okay and this is your uh, public URL where you can view these applications now there are two ways uh, wherein you can um, upload the files okay so one is through the portal and uh, and the another one is to Azure Storage Explorer so we'll do this we will uh, uh, have the storage explorer we will use storage explorer to dip, upload our files so just click on refresh so that uh, it will come up with the account storage account which we created so as you can see this is the storage account and when you enable uh, static website when you enable the feature of static website it creates an blob with the name web dollar web so you need to copy your all published files under the dist folder from this dist folder sorry from this dist folder to under this dollar web file so the first was when you create an azure account azure storage account make sure that it has its an general purpose v2 the second one when you publish the files make sure you select this files which comes under the dist folder and the third you need to copy this file inside your created azure account under um, uh, blob name or the container name dollar web so what you can do is just control a and drag this So this is the ease when you work with Azure Storage Explorer. So it is now copied. You can just click once, refresh. Now let's come to our Azure Storage. Copy this primary endpoint, and it's running. So now we have our .NET Core 3.1 Angular application hosted on Microsoft Azure Storage as in static website. So you can see this is now public, and uh, can see the things are working absolutely fine easy learn something new and uh, something interesting do like my video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for all upcoming videos thank you bye bye